A lot of men struggle with loneliness nowadays. A lot of it has to do with struggling to get into a relationship, not having a girlfriend, and just not having a lot of friends. Some people never really even had any friends in their life, and others had a lot of friends when they were in school. But once they graduated, everyone kind of just drifted apart and stopped talking to each other. And the older you get, the less friends you have. And sometimes the friends that you thought were your friends, you found out they weren't really your friends. Sometimes you think you know a person, but you really don't, even if you know somebody for many years. I think everyone at one point will feel lonely or feel like they've been betrayed by the people that they thought were their friends. I think the main reason why men feel lonely nowadays is really because they feel like no one truly understands them. They feel like they can't really connect with people. And sometimes you do have a lot of people around you, or maybe you do hang out with a lot of people, but you still feel alone. But perhaps the people you hang around are just people that are around you. They're not really your friends. Or they could be your friends. Maybe they're just friends that you just hang out with, but you can't really connect with them on a deep level. And perhaps sometimes you feel like People don't really have your best interests in mind. You know, a lot of times people are selfish. Everyone's really out there for their best interests. They're not really looking out for yours, what's best for you. And sometimes people think they know what's best for you, but they don't really do what's best for you. And a lot of times men just don't show their emotions because they feel like no one truly understands them. And a lot of times their feelings just get disregarded or people make them feel like their feelings are not that important and sometimes people get made fun of when they share their feelings so a lot of times people just keep their own feelings to themselves and that can make you feel isolated that can make you feel like you don't really fit in with anyone else but some of it is really just how men communicate with each other you know a lot of times men don't encourage each other they make fun of each other and a lot of times men can't really tell their friends how they feel because they'll just get made fun of or they'll just tell them that you thinking too much is not that deep you know it's not like how women communicate with each other women always encourage each other and they always validate each other's opinions and tell each other that they matter but men don't really do that because we're supposed to be strong we're not supposed to express our emotions or how we feel. A lot of times we feel like we just have to get something done. We can't really complain about anything. And that does make us feel lonely because we can't really express how we feel. We feel like we have no one to talk to. And especially where society is moving towards with the rise of the internet, people don't really talk to each other in person anymore. Everyone just stays inside, play video games, watch TV, and most of their interactions with people is online. So the only communication that you really get is online communication, online conversations. Some people might not even talk for days, might not even really talk to another human being for days. And a lot of the talking is really just texting. They're not really talking or saying anything out loud. So then talking becomes something that doesn't feel natural to them. And when you're having these online interactions, a lot of it's just texting or talking, but never really face-to-face -face conversations. So when you go back out into the real world, talking, communicating doesn't really feel normal. Sometimes you might feel awkward or sometimes you might feel weird because it's not something that you're used to, just being around people, talking to people, having fun, communicating. It's not something that you're used to. So you don't even know how to communicate in person. I think the people that struggle with this the most are people that play video games and watch TV all day. People that are not really around anyone struggle with this the most and it's something that i realized because i remember when i was younger and i used to play this one game for 12 hours a day every day and i played that game that whole summer i didn't really talk to anybody it was just wake up eat play video games go back to sleep and it was that same routine the whole summer i didn't talk to nobody like i talked to the people in the game but i didn't really talk to anybody i didn't really say anything i didn't really talk out loud and I remember when summer was over and it was time to go back to school it felt really awkward just talking to people and I had more anxiety I was more shy I was less confident in myself and then as time went on I just became more shy I felt like I lost the ability to talk to people and to communicate with people and I felt like everyone was judging me and I just became very self-conscious and aware of how I 
thought people thought about me in every situation. How people are judging me when I'm having conversations with them. Or if I'm sitting alone, do people think that I'm lonely and don't have any friends? It was like I was hyper aware of everything that was happening. I think a lot of my overthinking started from there. You know, humans are social creatures and we're meant to connect with people. We're meant to have friends. We're meant to be in a relationship. We're not really meant to be alone. And when we put ourselves in isolation, when we isolate ourselves from everyone else, and we're not really communicating with people, and when we're just not around people in real life, I feel like that affects us psychologically. I feel like that's when people start overthinking, having anxiety, and start having a lot of mental issues. And I think where society is heading, it's just going to get worse. I think over time, more and more people are just gonna stay inside and stop communicating with people in person. Where the world is heading, we just value convenience. While that's good for us in the short term, it's not good for us in the long term. I feel like over time, we're just going to become more lonely than ever. You don't even have to go anywhere to buy anything anymore. You can just order everything online. You don't even have to go into the office anymore at your job. There's remote jobs. And in the future, you might not have to go anywhere. Maybe we'll just be living in the metaverse. Maybe we'll be doing everything in virtual reality. Or we'll be living in a simulation. If the metaverse actually becomes a thing, you probably don't even have to go into the office to work. You can just work in the metaverse. When you have meetings, you just go into the meeting as an avatar of your choice. You create your own character. When you want to go on vacation, you go on vacation in the metaverse. Wherever you want to go, you'll go there in a simulation and it'll feel like the real thing, but it's not the real thing. It could help people to get into relationships. Maybe they're not very confident in themselves or how they look but they can create an avatar within that metaverse and create a character based on the features and the looks that they like. And they could be very confident and very smooth and have a lot of riz because they're very confident in themselves while they're being that avatar or that character. And it's not just people that aren't in relationships that experience loneliness. There's people that are in relationships that are married that feel lonely. There's people that are in relationships and marriages that have no intimacy. And it makes them feel like their partner doesn't want them. And it makes them think, do you not find me attractive? Do you even love me? And sometimes it's because they got too comfortable in the relationship and they didn't take care of themselves and their physical appearance declined. Sometimes their significant other just aren't attractive attracted to them anymore and physical attraction plays a big part regardless if you're in a relationship or not or if you're just in the honeymoon phase or if you're trying to get into a relationship physical appearance means a lot physical attraction means a lot sometimes just having an amazing personality isn't enough because to want to get intimate with someone it has to be someone that you're attracted to or else you're not really going to be motivated to do anything a lot of times these relationships and marriages where there isn't any intimacy is because of physical attraction. It really does make the other person feel like their partner isn't attracted to them. Because if it was their celebrity crush, I bet you they would be in the mood. They would want to have fun, get intimate. If it was someone that they found attractive, they wouldn't just be getting intimate once a month once a year something changed in that relationship especially if at the beginning y'all was getting intimate a couple times a week or once a week and now y'all only get intimate once a month or y'all might go months without intimacy at all it's probably because you're not attracted to your partner and that does make someone feel lonely like no one wants them not even their own wife or girlfriend. So it's not just single men or people that are single that feel lonely. There's people in relationships that feel lonely. It's really about just getting into the right relationship. Being with someone that actually finds you attractive. You know, if you get into a relationship and the person doesn't find you attractive, you're probably not going to be happy in that relationship. There's always someone in the relationship that loves the other person more. And there's always someone that puts more effort in the relationship than the other person. And you could tell how much your significant other loves you just by how much effort they put into that relationship. If they actually care about how you feel, how they make you feel. And when you're in a relationship with someone that finds you attractive, they'll put in a lot more effort than if they were just into your personality. I feel like to be happy in a relationship, 
you have to find someone that finds you attractive. That can't be the only reason why they're in a relationship with you. You know, of course, they gotta like your personality. They have to like you as a person. But they have to be physically attracted to you. Because if they're not, they're not gonna put in that much effort. And you're gonna be in these marriages where there's no intimacy at all. Or y'all get intimate once every couple of months or once a year. Or y'all might even go years without any intimacy. You know, as much as people say looks don't matter, looks matter a lot. People treat good looking people better. And a lot of times, people might have even treated their ex better even though their ex wasn't the best for them and didn't treat them very well but their ex was better looking i feel like that's something not a lot of people want to hear but that's just the reality of things people just gravitate towards good looking people and they'll even give good looking people more chances there's girls that will stay with a guy that doesn't treat them well but they'll stay because they're good looking and if it was a guy that wasn't attractive to them if it was a guy that they didn't think was good looking they wouldn't have stayed they would have been left the moment they treated them bad they would have been left the only reason why they gave the guy a lot of chances is because they find them attractive a lot of times when girls are thinking of their dream guy or when they say they want a guy that's nice a guy that's kind they're thinking of an attractive guy that's nice and kind they're not thinking of guys that are not good looking when they're thinking about these traits a lot of guys that struggle with getting a girlfriend is because of their looks but also because they're not confident in themselves but that's because confidence is the byproduct of winning but it's hard for a guy to be confident if they're always getting rejected or they've never gotten any attention from any girl in their lifetime a lot of good looking men that are confident is because girls tell them that that they're attractive and they get a lot of attention so naturally they would be confident when you feel like you're not good looking or you feel like you're not attractive and no one ever gives you any attention and girls constantly reject you it's hard to be confident and when a guy always has to make the first move and they constantly get rejected it does make them feel lonely and feel like no one really wants them or no one really likes them life is definitely harder if you're not good looking i think good looking people live life on easy mode they get more opportunities people gravitate towards them they get more chances it's easier to get a girlfriend it's easier to make friends they're more confident in themselves because they get a lot of attention and they get a lot of validation from other people and they get a lot of compliments they just fit in easier I think what a lot of men struggle with is having high quality conversations they never really develop their communication skills especially if all you do is stay inside and play video games and watch TV you have a lot of low quality conversations or you'll just be playing games and you won't really be talking to anyone for days or you'll just watch TV and you won't really have any high quality conversations for days for months for years when you don't talk to people it doesn't feel natural talking to people face to face you'll start to feel awkward or you'll feel like people are judging you and you'll have anxiety you'll feel nervous you won't be very confident in yourself because you're just not around people. It just doesn't feel natural for you. And it's tough for men because no one reaches out to you if you're not good looking. No one's just going to give you opportunities and want you to succeed. Most people don't even know you even exist if you don't make yourself capable, if you don't accomplish great things in life. And men take on a lot of burden because we're only valued based on our capabilities and what we can provide. And even if we do get into a relationship, how many men really think that if they lost their job and they lost their financial stability and they lost everything how many of them really think their girlfriend or their wife will stay with them if they struggle to find a job again if it takes them years to rebuild everything back up would their wife stay with them if they lost everything so it's a lot of pressure just to keep the family together you always got to be capable you always got to be the man that can fix everything and it's tough to know you can't fail you not only have to reach success you have to maintain it because if you don't you'll lose everything there's always exceptions to the rule there's girls out there that would stay with a man even if they lost everything but that type of girl is hard to find just finding a girl that's loyal it's hard to find nowadays. Men are naturally competitive. And through competition, we build friendships. We make new friends when we play basketball together, when we play different sports, when we're competing. Friendships are made through competition, but not always. For those who can't compete, for those who feel like they're not good at anything, for those who feel like they never win at anything or they're not good at anything, they're not very competitive in sports, they're not very competitive 
anywhere. They just feel like they're not good at anything. It can make them feel like they're left out. It can make them feel like they don't fit in with anyone else. And that can make them feel alone. So competition builds friendships, but it can make others feel like they're alone. And some people might feel like they're behind in life because everyone seems like they got their life together. Maybe everyone around you have a good career and you don't. Maybe everyone around you are in relationships. They've gotten married and you're still single. Maybe you feel like everyone else gets along and can have conversations, but you're always left out. And maybe the combination of all of that makes you feel alone makes you feel like you don't fit in with anyone. But everyone moves at their own pace. Maybe your book has more chapters and it'll take you longer to reach your climax. As long as you try your best and you keep moving forward, that's the only thing that matters. 